Hey guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Love. I'm a professionally trained makeup artist as well as beauty content creator and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is actually my first ever YouTube video that I've created so it really means so much to me that you guys have taken the time to come check it out. I've decided to kick things off with a little mini series about eyelashes. Today in part one I'm going to be teaching you some tips for curling eyelashes. Focusing mainly on tips for stubborn eyelashes, which is something that I suffer from. My eyelashes are super stubborn and they're really, really hard to curl. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're like me and you have unruly eyelashes that just don't like to cooperate with you, or you just want to learn some tips for great lashes, then stay tuned. So before we get started, I would just like to point out the obvious fact that my hair is different and I look completely different. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a technical issue when I was filming my video and the middle part of my video got completely lost. And before I realized that the middle part of the video had not recorded properly, I went and I got my hair highlighted. So there's no hiding the fact that I didn't record the middle part on the same day as the beginning and the end of my video, but that's okay. Now that the cat's out of the bag, let's get started, shall we? So the first trick to curling straight lashes is to have the right tools. So this is my arsenal for doing just that. What you're gonna need is an eyelash curler. You're gonna wanna make sure that your eyelash curler is clean, full of any oils, debris, or leftover makeup. You also want to make sure that this little pad here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you want to make sure that this pad doesn't have an indent in it. From continuous use of your eyelash curler, this little rubber pad will get indented. If it's too indented, it's not going to properly curl your lashes. So you definitely want to make sure that the pad itself is in good order. If the pad is too indented, don't worry. You don't have to throw your whole eyelash curler in the garbage. You can get replacements. Um, my particular eyelash curler is by Tweezer Man, and it did come with its own um, replacements for the eyelash curler pad. However, if you don't have any, you can find them in a beauty supply store, or you can find them online, on like Amazon or something like that. The next thing that we're gonna need is these spoolies. We're also gonna need some translucent setting powder. The translucent setting powder that I'm using is the e.l.f. HD translucent setting powder. It doesn't have to be this one. You just have to make sure that it's a setting powder and that it's translucent. Other than that, any powder will work. I'm also gonna be using a waterproof mascara, and yes, it does have to be a waterproof mascara. Traditional non-waterproof mascaras have a very wet formula. So you can take all the time to curl your eyelashes so beautifully, but if you go ahead and put one of those traditional non-waterproof mascaras on, it's gonna wet your eyelash and it's just gonna ultimately take your eyelash from this to this. And that's not what we want. That's just gonna undo all the hard work that we've done. Waterproof mascaras, on the other hand, they have wax in them. The wax is actually what makes it waterproof, but, in our case, that wax is actually gonna help hold the lash in place so it doesn't go straight. And the wax actually makes the formula be a little bit less wet. So all these things are really working in our favor to keep our eyelashes with that really nice curl instead of going straight. And last but certainly not least, we have our blow dryer, which we're gonna use to heat up our eyelash curler. Now that we know all of the tools that we're gonna need. Let's get started in actually curling our eyelashes, shall we? So first and foremost, I'm gonna wanna make sure that my eyelashes are clean, that they're free of any uh, residual makeup from maybe the day before, and that they don't have any oils and stuff on them. If there's any leftover makeup or oil on our eyelashes, that's actually gonna inhibit the eyelash from curling properly. The first step, is going to involve our translucent powder and our spoolie. I'm just gonna go ahead and open my translucent powder up and I'm gonna tap a little bit into the lid. We don't need too much for this. 
I'm just gonna tap it down into the corner. Then I'm gonna take my eyelash spoolie and I'm gonna dip it into the translucent powder. My personal preference is I like to bend it like this. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier to be able to actually push it into the product. Um, as you can see, here's a straight one. It's a little bit, you can't really get it into the corner there. So I find this is just a little bit easier. So I'm gonna push it into the product. I'm gonna dust the excess off and then I'm just gonna brush my eyelashes with this. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to absorb any of the extra oils that may be lingering on the eyelashes. So I'm just gently combing that through on both sides, lightly coating the lashes. So what this step is gonna do is because it's absorbed any of the excess oil that's on our lashes, it's gonna make the lashes have a really nice fan effect when we curl them. And it's gonna stop them from sticking together. So now that that step is complete, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is actually curling the lashes. So I'm gonna grab my eyelash curler. Now before I go in and do the full curl, I'm gonna do, I guess I'm gonna call a little bit of a pre-curl, where I'm just gonna gently curl the lashes at the lash line. The reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna make sure that all of the lashes, including those pesky outside corners, are lifted up before I go in for the full curl. If I go ahead and I do my full curl, and then I realize that the outside lashes were missed, I can go in and recurl everything, but then all of the lashes that were already curled are gonna get overly curled, and you're just gonna end up with this really tight and natural looking curl, which I don't think is really very flattering. So that's basically why I do this step. So I'm gonna grab my eyelash curler and I'm wanting to make sure that all of the lashes are in the lash curler. So I'm gonna kind of come in from the side here, making sure that all the lashes are in and I'm gonna lift up my eyelid a little bit, which is gonna help them to get in there. And then I'm going to Gently curl my lashes right at the lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So now that I have my pre-curl done, I'm just gonna check and make sure that all of the lashes actually made it up into the lift. And they did. So now I'm gonna move on to phase two of the actual eyelash curling. So for that, I'm going to need my blow dryer and my eyelash curlers once again, and I'm just going to use this to heat up my eyelash curler. So what this is going to do is it's going to set the curl with heat, which is going to give a very, very nice natural looking curl, and it's going to stay really well. This is a great tip if you have eyelashes that are really hard to curl. So I'm going to turn my blow dryer on to high speed and high heat, and I'm just going to heat up my eyelash curler. So before you go ahead and place this against your eye, please check it on the back of your hand to make sure that it's not too hot. The last thing that I want any of you guys to do is to take a super hot um, eyelash curler and put it right up against your eye. Guys, please don't burn yourself. Make sure you check it first. So now that it's heated up and it's warm, not too hot, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with it. For my look today, I'm gonna do a C curl. I really like a C curl because I think it has a very nice natural and soft look. So I'm gonna put my eyelash curler against my lash line and I'm going to gently start pumping the eyelash curler while rotating the eyelash curler upwards like this until I get to the end of my lashes. And see now we have a really, really nice soft C curl. The one thing you wanna make sure you're doing is to not push down too hard. If you push down too hard, you can end up with a really unnatural hard angle and that's not gonna look very pretty. So we don't wanna do that. Now that that side's done, 
I'm gonna heat up my eyelash curler again and do the other side. Once again, checking to make sure that it's not too hot. We want it just warm enough to curl the lashes. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Make sure all my lashes are in the curler. Starting at the lash line, I'm gonna gently pump the eyelash curler while rotating it upwards to the length of my lashes. I'm pretty happy with the way that that turned out. If you're not happy with the curl that you've created, like you find it has some weird angles to it or you just don't like it, a good tip is that you can take an eyelash spoolie, wet it, knock off the excess water, and then just comb it through your lashes. And that's gonna wet your lashes and straighten them, up, straighten them back out again. So then you can curl them um, again. Um, but before you curl them, obviously, just make sure that your lashes are dry or else they're not gonna curl. Now we're gonna move on to the last step, actually putting the mascara on. I'm using the um, Waterproof Great Lash Mascara. This is my favorite everyday go-to mascara. I find it's really, really good at separating the lashes. It builds up well. And I personally like the fact that it has such a small wand. I find that makes it really easy to be able to get into the roots and onto all of the hard to reach lashes so you don't miss anything. Before I do that, I'm just gonna take my spoolie that I used with the powder on it. I haven't put any extra powder on it. There's residual powder on it still. And I'm just gonna brush my lashes out one last time. And now for actually applying the mascara. You definitely want to make sure that you don't have um, a bunch of excess mascara on your mascara wand because that's going to make your eyelashes clump up. So I'm just removing it off of the tip. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my lashes. When I apply mascara, I always like to start at the base of the lash line and then work my way up. So for my first coat, I'm going to apply it to the roots. One technique that I'm gonna wanna use is I'm going to wiggle my mascara wand like this while rotating it upwards. What that's gonna do is it's gonna ensure that all the lashes are coated and then they're separated properly. For my first coat, I'm just going to concentrate on the um, lash line and pull the mascara up maybe like halfway up the lashes. Um, you may notice as well that I'm flipping my eyelashes up. That's just going to make it a lot easier for me to be able to get the mascara wand really close to the lash line and my finger up here is going to protect the mascara from potentially getting on my eyelid. It's going to get on my finger, if anything. Now that the first coat's done, I'm going to grab my other spoolie, the straight one. I just find when the spoolie is straight, it's a little bit easier for me to brush out my lashes. So I'm just going to brush everything out, making sure there's no clumps. You always want to be brushing in between each coat so your lashes don't clump together and they remain with having a really nice fanned out effect. Now I'm gonna go in for my second coat. Once again, I'm gonna start at the lash line, but this time I'm gonna pull the mascara up until the end of the lashes. And I'm not wiggling the wand back and forth this time. I'm kind of pushing it into the lashes and flicking up. If you go back and forth after you already done your first coat, it's gonna make your lashes stick together. And then to do the, I guess I'm gonna call it the second top half of my lashes, I'm gonna turn my wand like this and I'm gonna gently coat them. This technique is also gonna keep them from clumping together and keep them nice and fanned out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side now, once again, I'm gonna brush them out before I go in and do my third and final coat. All right, so now for my third and final coat, I'm gonna I'm wanna concentrate on the tops of my lashes a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna gently be placing the mascara wand onto my eyelashes. Now, I'm not gonna 
What I'm not wanting to do is move my eyelashes at all because then they are gonna stick together. So I'm just lightly tapping the mascara wand onto the tips of my lashes. And then the final thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently tap the tops of the lashes just to add a little bit of extra length. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then lastly, I'm just gonna brush them out one more time. And this is the final result. Well, I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you have any more questions concerning any of the things we talked about today, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. I will answer all of your comments. Also, if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe as I am a new YouTuber. It will really help me to get my content out there and I would really, really appreciate it. I'd like to thank you so much for taking the time to come check out my channel and hopefully you come here to see me again. Have a great day, guys. Bye.